We've had uh, another question from Connor. He says, I am a father of two who um, suffered from OCD and bipolar disorder all my life, uh, all my adult life. I'm grateful for medication, but some days um, are just hell compared to others. So how do you manage your mental health? Linda, I'm going to go to you first with this one again. Well, I, like Connor, I've got a little bit of OCD, so everything has to be really clean. And at the moment, we've got mice in our house, so it's been quite stressful. Yeah. But I have had really bad mental health problems. Like, a few years ago, I was off work for two years, um, and I turned to drink. Um, so I always drank wine of the night time, spritzers, come 10 o'clock at night, but never drunk of the daytime. And then I got put on some medication that sent me a bit mad. I got put on a certain drug, which was supposed to help my depression and that, but it didn't. It just heightened it. So um, I had to go into three different establishments and um, it was the worst time in my life. I completely ruined my family's life. You were there. No, you we were in Ibiza and I had a proper breakdown with all the girls out there and Stacey had to bring me home and take me to um, one of the... Well, one of the, the Priory, yeah. yeah. It shook me to the Priory. And, um, and then I went from there to another establishment. So for two years, I had really, really bad depression, was self-harming, um, was cleaning everywhere that I went. And when I got home, then I'd clean my bed in every day and just... But um, I just think I've managed to sort of get myself back to how I was before. I'm off of all medication now. I don't take any... I haven't drunk for three years now and I don't miss it. I mean, I used to, yeah, I used to love my out. spritzers so of the night time yeah. and that. So, but uh, what I find that helps is if you keep yourself busy, if you work out what you're going to do during the day so you keep yourself busy and you haven't got time to sit and think about mm. the I things remember that you worry about. I remember your most difficult time. You had that real routine, no matter how crazy it all was. Do you remember you'd do yoga all the time? All the time, you yeah. You became like this yoga queen. Yeah, and it really, and really it helped It really the helped it was just you. just before COVID or just, so uh, proud just when you. we went into COVID. Such a big deal. You've been so, through a lot. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah. Come out the other side. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in terms yeah. of sort of advice to Connor, would it be then to, to try and keep busier in, in, in life so you're not with your own thoughts? Yeah, I think if you've got too much time on your hand, then you sit and think about mm. things all the day. So I try and work out in the morning. I'm going to go, I'm going to go and get my shopping at that time. If I've got loose women, if I wake up in the morning, I'm going to work with my mates every day. It's like, yeah, I can't wait to get into mm. work and see everybody. And it keeps me really busy. And then I'm concentrating on what we're talking mm. about that day rather than right. other things mm. that would be, that would worry you or depress you or mm. anything. But the OCD is really a really horrible thing to have. It really, really is. And most of my I family never knew had until it. I saw you. Yeah, I my mum no had idea. it, like, her ass, yes. like she couldn't have any rubbish in the house, everything yeah. had to be taken outside, everything had to be clean. Yeah. And like we were washing our hands and using like, you know, hand wash and that long before we went into COVID and mm. washing our hands about 20 times a day. But I've managed to keep that at bay as well now, just by keeping busy. And I read as well, I read books and that. So I try not to watch too much TV. Yeah. I sit and read a book and that, and then it just takes your mind off And you've everything. stopped spending, because you had a real problem with the phone as well. And yeah. I think a lot of people... I use it sometimes badly. Yeah. I go on my phone to distract from what's going on. But actually exacerbates it. Yeah, and it, it really does. did for you. So oh that was a God. huge yeah, part yeah. of your thing, wasn't it? I had to it 100% all the time. Yeah. And I always had the little battery packs that I take everywhere. So yeah. if one of your phones ran out, I'd always have a spare battery pack. You had to I did for your sister message. the week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, in oh. terms of um, mental health, Nadia, what do you do to kind of preserve it? Well, I, I'm, I'm, exercise is a really important thing. Most mm. important thing is a walk every day. I do yoga, I do weight training. Um, I talk a lot. <laughs> I yeah. talk a lot. I have a huge amount of gratitude for my life because I've never suffered with my mental health. As you know, I've spoken about my husband has bipolar 2 and suffered with depression and anxiety. A dear friend here, I've seen the hell of it. And I am so grateful and I look after my mental health because I, I know what a valuable thing it yeah. is because mm. when you struggle with it, it's so it's so painful. Oh. Yeah, I think it's so I think painful, painful for everyone around you as yeah, well. Yeah. Like, yeah, and I think I'm with you with the exercise thing. Mm. The last few weeks have been really, really hectic for me and I haven't had time to do as much exercise as I would do normally. And I miss Feel it. Feel it, yeah. So I'm also mm. not sleeping as well and all those sorts of things. Exercise impacts just about every part yeah. of your being, I think. Yeah. yeah. And exercise is thing that I would sort of use to sort of, you know, keep myself on an mm. even keel, especially with as frantic as my life tends to be. Mm. So that's what I tend to do. What do you do? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to get my phone out on telly, which I know you shouldn't do, but I've got something written in my notes section that I read that really, really helps me. And also, I must say thank you to Connor because for a man to write in with this yeah. is so important. Yeah. And to say you're taking medication is really important because it's very normal to use medication and it saves people's lies and it's not a sign of weakness or failure. No. So thank you for, to him for saying that. So I have this written on my phone. You must let the pain visit. 
You must allow it to teach you. You must not allow it to overstay. Mm. So I think what that says to me is every emotion is a good emotion. Every mm. emotion is valid. There's no such thing as negative emotions. So what I do with my mental health is I sit with it and I, I don't try and find a podcast mm. or, or go, go out shopping. I just sit with it and say, I'm going through this and I need to, and I need to let it out so that it doesn't linger and consume me. Yeah. And it will pass. Yeah, and sometimes it takes a while to pass and then it comes back and it fluctuates. But it is part of a feeling and I don't want to be disconnected to society or the world. I want to feel everything. Yeah. And sometimes if you try and suppress something, say, I'm not going to feel it right. Like, if I say pink elephant, pink elephant, don't think of pink elephants. First thing you do is think pink elephant. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I do that as well. I go, this right here, right now, I wish... I, 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 I don't like this, but it's OK because yeah. it will pass. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then and it does. But when you're talking about proper clinical depression and bipolar, as again, it's a very different thing. You need the yeah, support of medication and all of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, if you are looking for support with your mental health, you can go to our website where you'll find plenty of helplines listed.